for calling the Arizona Game and Fish Department. You were drawn for help. shed their velvet we really started hitting the heels hard trying to find a shooter for the upcoming hunt enjoy some of the scouting footage we got as the hunt drew near Opening morning had finally come and Carl and I found ourselves chasing bugles looking for a specific bull that sported double kickers. 
Ian and Rod were also chasing a giant non-typical bull in another part of the unit. The area we were hunting was very thick and we literally sifted through dozens of bulls looking for the double kicker bull. As good as it was for us, opening morning was even better for Ian and Rod. In all the excitement to the bull's aggressive response to Rod's calling, Ian forgot to stop the bull, hitting him a little further back than he intended. Fortunately, they were able to find the bull bedded down, and Ian was able to get a second arrow in him. Dude, look up. Hey, look at there. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Woo! That is incredible. He got it. Dude, congratulations. That is awesome. Sweet. That is a killer bull. Oh, man. What a bull. So this is the master guide. We finally uh, got her done. We opening morning. Ended up uh, seeing this big guy. It's, we've seen him on our cameras before. and uh, Just one time. Decided that's what I wanted. Kind of a strange uh, circumstance to come over and find the exact bull you're looking for. The master guide uh, actually ended up spotting him quite a ways away. And, we ended up uh, coming over and getting probably five, five, six hundred yards from it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he, I just went and sat up about 150 yards in front of him. It was real open otherwise, and he started calling. This thing came in a beeline right towards us. Um, there he is. Just kind of got real lucky, I guess. But uh, great job of calling. And it was just a lot of fun. We, we made it happen. Congratulations, Ian. Thank you. Great bull. He's a nine by nine and. He broke off a, his uh, sword on the one side and a little tip of this one here, but he has a lot of extras and extra brow tie up Congratulations, Ian. That's an incredible bull. I don't know if they come any better than this. After helping Ian get his bull packed out and taken care of, Carl and I hit the woods again, chasing that elusive double kicker bull.
After an incredible opening day, my friend Cade stopped by our camp. His cousin Wade also had this tag and shot this great bull opening morning. Cade was also excited to share with us that he had found one of the bulls we'd been looking for since July. He had found Wilbur on one of his trail cameras just the day before the season opened. Wilbur was the first truly big bull that we had found while scouting but we hadn't seen him since my friend Scott shot this footage of him in early July. The next day, Carl and Kate and I went in to hunt Wilbur. As luck would have it, we did not find him, but we did find another giant bull another bull sporting double kickers. The bull was in a bad spot to make a stock, so we decided to just sit back and admire him. We knew we had two weeks to hunt him and wait for him to make a mistake. The whole next day we were in position, just waiting for Double D to show himself. That evening, about 45 minutes before dark, we heard bugles coming from below us, in the area where Wilbur had been photographed. We literally ran down the mountain towards the bugles, hoping to catch a glimpse of the bulls that were running the herd. Better 
shop and with all this crap, I don't know that I would have got it. Yeah, yeah. After not finding the arrow and being unsure of the hit, we decided to come back in the morning. Got blood? In here the next morning, shot six pack right at dark. Good blood. Hopefully, it goes right to him. Well, I didn't shoot Wilbur, but I did shoot a bull we called Six Pack. Another giant six by six bull. Six pack down. Six pack on ice. Shot, dude. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? That's in uh, wow. tribute to my buddy Carl right there. Oh, that dude's gorgeous, man. Dude. That's a perfect set. That G1's well, it's over 20, dude. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. Oh, my gosh. Dude, he's got mass, Cade. I told you he's more massive, oh, man. Holy All right, hold him there. I'm not telling you. Bigger than what you guys had estimated. I know. That's the same. We're going up a lot. 42. 42. We're up an inch on every measurement almost. A lot of them. That is exactly 400. Exactly. Hey, buddy! Hey, dude. Are you kidding me? Exactly 400, man. It's 400 fold. We cleared the 800 inches. Woo! <laughs> that's bigger than you guys thought to be for longer. That's awesome. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. That's awesome. Woo, woo. It doesn't come like that better. Woo. Hey Jed, mm. what's going through your mind right now? I nothing, dude. It's completely blank. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Super excited. It's a cool bull. We've got a lot of history with it. Cade's got months worth of trail camera pictures. Uh, Jeremiah glassed him up in the velvet. Uh, we got video of him about two weeks ago while scouting him and uh, as great as he is we he wasn't the bull that we had our sights set on and uh, but we decided if we had an opportunity to shoot him we would and sure glad we did he is an absolute stud better than we expected went up 15 inches yeah. 15 inches better than we thought he was but uh, Ian shot a gigantic bull on day one uh, gross 417 even broken figure probably 425 if he wasn't broke uh, we just gross taped this one at 400 way beyond our wildest dreams man <laughs> crazy good hunt arizona public land archery hunt i don't know if we could do any better anywhere else in the world doesn't get, better, get than better than that in over three, eight over 800 just between two bowls three days sad to see it come to an end so soon but not too sad. It ended well. <laughs> this, <laughs> help, many, this helps ease it a little bit. Yeah. How, how many years have you guys been waiting for a tag? 15 for me. I was sitting at 10 years, Ian was at 15. You gotta pay your dues, but dad gum, it pays off sometimes. Had the right, right year too. Phenomenal year, phenomenal year. Lots of good growth. But I need to thank everyone, man. There's so many guys came up and helped and put a lot of time and energy. Yep, don't get any better than that. Great bulls and good times.